What's up? What's up? What's up, guys? My name is Victor, and this is Jimmy right here. Jimmy's from Energy. That's right. I'm saying it right. Energy. <laughs> Energy. Yes, Energy. And today we're gonna do one of the sites that is already solar powered by Energy, an inverter, uh, 8.0 kilowatt power inverter by Energy. It's here in the Philippines. Their inverters are already uh, available here in the Philippines. Yes. And Jimmy's going to take a look at it if we installed it correctly. Yes. <laughs> What's usually the proper procedure for installing an inverter, Jimmy? How do we proper procedure? What are the steps of like um, installing an inverter? Oh. The basic, just the basic steps. First, find the locations and make sure if you need a wall mounted or something like that. Yeah. That is it okay to in install the inverter outside the of house? Of course, we are. IP65, just as long as it's not under direct sunlight. Yes. Correct. And then also that it's not direct direct water. Direct water cannot fall on the bottom, but can be... Can on top. On top is okay. Okay. All right. That's very interesting. That, that means IP65 allows water on top, but not water in the bottom. Yes. Just watch the cable. Yeah. That's very interesting. So, Jimmy, why don't you tell us what makes the Energy Inverter special? Actually, most of our advantage is the PV side. For example, we can establish 2.2 times of PV overload. PV overload? Yes. So you mean if it's an 8 kilowatt power inverter, you can put 16 kilowatt power yes. solar panels? Yes, and we okay. can actually we can use the 1.6 PV Overload. Oh, really? Yes. That's good. So, for instance, the power is. So, for instance, we have a load that is. We have our inverters eight kilowatt, or let's say five kilowatt. Yes. And then you overload it by going above five thousand watts. You go one point four. That is um, seven thousand. Seven thousand yes. watts. You can yes. power. Good. 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 Amazing. Amazing online monitoring system does the inverter have like an online monitoring system where people can look at their production on of course we have our self-designed applicant yeah. named the energy cloud energy cloud you can download in google play and the ios store and then the customers can see how much power they produce yes and you can set the electric price yeah. you can directly see how many profit from the yeah. platform Wow, it's amazing. So it's a really good inverter. Yes. And what's the best part about this inverter? It's competitively priced? Actually, I cannot uh, say the pricing. This is just balance between the quality and the price. Oh, so you hear it, guys. This inverter right here is available here in the Philippines. It's in the market. Um, how about spare parts? That's questions that usually customers always ask. Are the spare parts available? So who's the technician that we can find here in the Philippines if ever five years from now there's a problem with the inverter? What, who, who, who should we bring the solar inverter to, Joseph? And also RT. RT. So we're working, I think the energy is working very closely with NSKY Corporation now. Yes. And we're establishing like a, a, a service center here in the Philippines where if there's any problems with the inverters, they can just directly send it to NSKY Corporation and then RT and um, Joseph is going to be able to work on it. Because remember, I'm going, to, this, I'm going to say it in Tagalog because this is one of the major concerns that Filipino customers always are looking for. After sales support, kailangan meron dito sa Pilipinas na magpagdadalhan ng inverter natin. Kasi syempre, Pag nasira yan, or pag may problema, kailangan meron tao kang madadalhan at makakapag-ayos at repair. So if spare parts are available here already, then there's no problem. We can easily fix those inverters. Right? Yes. Great. So um, what is our encouragement to the Filipino people? Why should the Filipino people go solar power? Because you know, in the Philippines, the electric price is extremely high. Yeah, and uh, solar power can reduce not only reduce the electric bills but also yeah. can reduce the carbon meter. Uh, yes, explode. Yeah, that's true. Here, how much is the cost of electricity in China? 
are you familiar with the, the costs? Ah. China and other countries? Yes, for example, in China, it was like uh, less than 10, 10 cents a kilowatt. Oh, it's half. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, here it's, I think, 25 cents exactly. US dollar. Yeah. Exactly. So it's so expensive here as compared to China. Yes. And in Philippines, they always have the situation of like outage, typhoon, yeah. and lots of things. Amazing. So, could you believe it? China is the, co the country that manufactures all of these goods. And they use it to save electricity. But their cost of electricity is already really cheap. But here in the Philippines, it's almost times two. One, times 1.5. We're costing 0.25 cents per kilowatt hour as compared to them at 0.10. So, it's amazing. It's a good thing that China is like leading the change for the manufacturing of renewable energy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we can collaboration with Philippines, like, yeah. like uh, Air Sky <laughs> Solar. Yes, that's yeah. good. Make green energy was valuable for everyone. Yeah, that's the most important thing. You know, um, a lot of Filipinos always think that if it's made in China, it's not good quality. But I believe it's changing now. Would you mm -hmm. say? Now it's ch totally changing. The situation totally changed. Totally changing. Yes. Anything for, for, for us, we have a local support yeah. team and we will have a five years warranty. Yeah. Everything, if you have the problem, directly find us. Not only can you go website, but mm -hmm. also you can make the phone call. Yeah. So it's changed. I think, I think all inverters are manufactured in China now. Yes. Except for a few brands. We don't need to name the brands in the video. Yes. But the leading in most um, sold solar inverters globally, they're all manufactured in China. Yes, because uh, right now China has the <coughs> political about new energy. Yeah. Not only in solar, but also in EV. EV, yes. Yes, and the, the best uh, battery also comes from China. Yeah, I like, believe it. Like CATL, yeah. EVE, something like that. They're the, they're, they're the leading manufacturers yes. of the batteries, right? CATL. I think even the electric cars have CATL cells. Yes, exactly. Yeah. This BYD, Manufacturing they manufacture their, their own battery. But, right? Yes, almost there the same go. technology. Yeah, so very interesting. For anybody out there who's interested in getting solar power installed, it's the perfect time for you to start saving electricity. We heard it from... Mr. Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy right now from Yenergy that um, solar is a wonderful investment. So we're here always. My name is Victor from NSky Solar and we're always working to make it cheaper and more affordable in providing quality inverters for you. So Thank you. this is us. We're here at the office. We'll be visiting the warehouse soon and we're going to be showing you the inverters that are already working and we want to show you the different features we want to show you how it's installed so that's going to be a very very interesting one all right so stay tuned bye uh, what's up hey george is going to be behind the camera all right do i look good ah uh, yeah yeah all right guys today is a very special video because we have here a very special guest we've got the very handsome jimmy Thank from you. Yenergy. Yes. Hello, everyone. It's Jimmy. <laughs> so Jimmy is going to be showing us the new inverter from Yenergy. It's an 8.0 kilowatt power hybrid inverter. So we're going to show you how it works. Currently, what kind of business we're also solar powering at the very moment. And um, we're just going to talk about it. Just very candid. Yes. That's nice conversation. Yes, of Show course. the viewers how our inverter looks. Look, this is our six, 8 kilowatt IP65 hybrid inverter. I will give you a brief introduction. Here is the PV side. You can push the button. All the solar information is on this page. And this one, you can see the power cable per day or you know per what, month Jimmy? or yearly. Yeah. Um, let me cut you short. I think what we can do is so that the viewers can see a better view of the screen is we can change the um which basic 
We can change, change the, the color. color to white. Do you see it? I think it's much yeah. better yeah. for the viewers. There yes. you go. Okay, Jimmy, con continue with the explanation. Here is uh, our PV side in information. You just push the button. Everything is very clear side. And uh, you can see the daily curve and the monthly curve and the yearly curve. Everything detail of the generation is here. And here is uh, the grid side. You can see the information details. Yes. And the battery information and the, the BMS information. And here's the home load. Wow. And the, what's the important is here, there is a work mode, three work mode, and the, you can choose. And besides, we have a TOU setting, very <coughs> easy to set how you use the inverter. Very basic. It's yes. very nice. And we have a pure PV to Eastland uh, <coughs> function. That means only use PV and can afford the load. No need the battery. Yeah. It's special design for energy. Yes. And what's more, we have two color, <laughs> color system uh, uh, option. You can see. Black or white. Wow. The black style. Yes. Yeah. That looks really nice. Very nice, right? And then you can also choose so it's easier to see yes. as you can see guys for everybody who's watching this video we're here at dream product <laughs> hold on we'll just edit this out dream product manufacturing so come here i want to show you solar panels are producing 1860 watts of power how much are we consuming from the grid from meralco zero kilowatt power Everything that is powering the whole facility, the manufacturing plant right here, is being powered by the sun and by the battery. So everything is being powered by the sun and the battery. There's no consumption from the grid. So the factory right now is consuming 2,890 kilowatt power. Where is it split? 1,800 kilowatt, uh, 1,800 watts is coming from the solar modules and then 840 watts is coming from the battery. So that's one of the beautiful things about this hybrid inverter, is you're no longer consuming any electricity from the grid. One of the great things about the Energy inverter is that it's compatible with almost all the batteries. Yes. Sunnest battery, um, pylon, pylon, protocol, dynast, dynast, DUID, DUID. and so yeah. on. So there's a numerous amount of batteries that you connect, can connect to your inverter. So sometimes people decide that they would choose one battery, but eventually they want to add more batteries or choose a larger battery in their solar energy system. So it's easy to adapt. So that's one of the best things that you can do. Yes. Yeah. Jimmy, how will I know if there's a problem with my inverter? If the alarm light was turning you on, on red, color and you will know some problem will be happen you can check this yeah device information you can check the faults there yes. you go yes all right great all right so there's four led lights available on your unit you have a light that corresponds to your dc connection the two most vital um connection that your inverter should have is your dc and your ac yes and then you have your normal working light so that should be in green and then you have your alarm light the alarm light when it lights up that's the only time that your inverter does have an alarm it automatically turns off so that your your house and your solar energy system is safe from any damage so that's one of the beautiful things about this inverter is those four lights right there yes and this is our ups function yes connected to the <coughs> micro inverter Further or UPS, very convenient. Yes. So this, this part, this portion right here allows you to add extra power to your inverter as well. So that you can add more power, like yes. an additional grid die system you can add in order to boost the power for the inverter. Yes. And then it, you can also use it as your EPS. Is the, U, is the EPS and the micro inverter input the same? The same. The same the input, it's not separated. It's a, Cable, smart port. Smart port, okay. Yes. So what if I have a smart uh, micro inverter and then I also want an EPS? Is that possible? That's possible. 
Just make the wrong cable connection. Okay. All right. Okay. So you're going to put it on the same connection. Yes. All right. So, great. So that's one valuable information as well. This right here, what size inverter is this again, Jimmy? Hybrid uh, inverter. 8 kilowatt, yes. Eight. IP65. It has its own cooling system right fan here. Cooling, yes. And fan. there's a automatic adjuster fan. Yes. For example, you see, right now the fan is not op operation because yeah. now the power, power of PV is not very large. And when it reach six, six kilowatts, there will open one fan, automatic. One fan. When you reach eight kilowatts, maybe more, there two, fans. Just two fans will open. All open. So yes. that's good. That's a good way to cool the system. Remember, when we're dealing with electronics, the most important part really is keeping your equipment cool. Because if it's too hot, it will damage the electronics. So knowing that we have an auxiliary fan right there, it's definitely going to help cool and increase the efficiency of the conversion of our solar energy. Yes. Oh, wonderful. All right, guys. So I hope you learned a lot right from up. this hybrid inverter. Yes. And Jimmy, thank you so much for coming by thank here you, in the Philippines. Peter. Yes. And then uh, we, we, were, we were able to learn a lot from this inverter, so it was good. And I hope you guys are going to message us and be inquire on how you can get this inverter into your home.